Here we go with a new video. This time I will focus on a nice trick in SharePoint or Microsoft lists. Thanks to the community, more in detail, Federico Sapia is the author of a nice trick which will allow you to stay on the same list, on the same page, by clicking on a lookup columns, which is pretty used nowadays to connect SharePoint lists, by clicking on an element in the lookup column, we are now able with this new work that improved the user experience to open a panel on the same page so you don't leave the page but you stay always on the same page and you are able to see more detail about a specific item of a lookup columns. So I'll show you a demo how you can do that. Let's go. Here I have SharePoint open. I have a SharePoint list called Projects Dashboard. The idea here is to have a board view where I can see the full year, quarter one, two, three, four, and I can monitor all projects running and when they are supposed to be rolled out or released. Okay, that's the idea. As you can see here, I have the projects column. This is a lookup column. I can show you this by editing this column. So this is a lookup column and I'm pointing to the projects list. In this list, I have all projects with status and also team members. So the ugly thing of this experience is when I click here on this project, for example, in this lookup, which is great if you want to connect SharePoint list each other, it's very great. I have another tab open in the browser. So imagine now to embedding this in Microsoft Teams and having this behavior. So in Microsoft Teams, you will, will force the browser opening and displaying this detail about this, this project, where you can see the title, team members, the status. You can even add more columns if you want. So this is very, I would say, ugly, not, not the best user experience. Now, here, what we can do, reusing a, an existing capability, we can open, clicking on this link, stay on this page by opening another panel, by showing the details about this project. So this is great. So I don't need to navigate across tabs, I can stay on the same page. But before to do it, let me customize a bit this view. So what I would like to do, as I said before, is having a board view, release, and so I need just to define the name of that, let me be original, board, let's hit the button create and now I can see the view that I wanted to have. So I can monitor projects, I can move projects across quarters if I want and here I have the list of projects. Now clicking here again we go back to Another, another tab and this will display the detail of this project. So this is exactly what I want to avoid. Now, in order to apply a column formatting and to better display this information in the projects column, I need to go back on the previous view, the classic one, all items. And here I am going to open the panel in column settings format these columns. This is the column formatting experience. So here you can add a JSON and this JSON will change the behavior of this column and even the UI. So let me click on advanced and this is exactly the JSON that we have so far. So nothing special. This is just a reference to a schema. So if you have this kind of JSON at the beginning, you are going to see the classic experience provided by Microsoft. But you can customize this area. And now this is what I will do. This is the blog article coming by Federico. And here we can find uh, all description around this, this solution. 
What we are going to use as a core is the embed action. So with this embed action, we are able to click on a link and open a panel directly on the same page. So here down below, what we have is a JSON provided. So this is where the magic will happen. So let me copy everything. So starting from now that I'm recording, there is something missing in this JSON. Okay, it's the curly brackets, the last curly brackets that will close the, the first one. So Federico will fix this for sure. But for now on, if you are implementing this on your SharePoint list, keep in mind that the last symbol that you should see here is a closure of a curly brackets. Okay, so and let me show you also the experience. So that's the idea. We are going to see a fancy lookup column here, which is definitely nicer than the classic one. And theoretically, we should be able by clicking on this one to open this panel and display the information about this project. So now I'm showcasing this case with projects, but it's really up to you. So the business logic allows you to click on a link and open the panel. Then you can readapt this scenario to every list that you want. So for the sake of this demo, I had the idea to use a board where I can monitor projects. Okay, now I copied this JSON and what I will do is basically pasting this JSON here. So as I mentioned before, there is this error because what is missing is the last curly brackets and I am going to add this one and now we, we don't have any more the error. Now, very important, uh, this JSON, it's pretty to go, uh, it's good to go, but there is just one thing that you need to fix, otherwise the link that you are going to click on will not work. So, and this is this word, your source list name. This is very important. You need to add here the name of your list. So the list, in this case, the projects list. So I can click here, reopen the tab, and here I can see the name in the URL of the list. But this is also visible here. So I copy this, and now going back, I'm able to fix this thing. So I'm going to remove this word, and I'm going to add my list name. So very important, add your list name here. Now I'm done. So I can save this. And as you can see, I have this nice UI now and user experience that we will see in a bit. So this is now good to go. It's, it's perfect. I can also go back to my board view and display the every projects and release, but let's stay here. So before clicking, the last thing to do is to copy the domain of your SharePoint site. So let me copy this one because otherwise you will see an error prompting in the in the panel. And I'm going to show you also this, this experience because I want to fully cover this demo. So let me go on site information and view all site settings. Here I am in the file, in the settings of this SharePoint site. Going to this link, HTML field security, I'm going to open it. You need the uh, owner permission to, to fix this. You need to have owner rights for the SharePoint site. And I already added this. Now let me remove this because I want to show you how the experience looks like. Okay, I'm done. I can go to the projects dashboard, which is the previous page that we have seen. And now I'm going to click on one of this lookup item. As you can see, the panel shows up. I will not have any more the experience that we have seen where I have an additional tab open it in the browser. But what I have here is now the panel straightforward and along this page. Now here I have this error. Embedded content from this website isn't allowed, but your admin can change this setting. And now what I have to do 
is Riyadh, the domain that we have seen in the special HTML site security. So I'm going to click again on site information. I will click on all sites, HTML field security. And here I'm going to add my domain, which is the SharePoint domain. So let's add. Let me just double check that is added. There you go. I can click on OK. And now I'm going to go back to the projects dashboard. And here, what I'm going to do is click on one item of the lookup. And there you go. I have now this panel opening here along my dashboard. So I'm able to see in detail for every project now information like team members, status, and of course, being a SharePoint list, it's completely flexible and customizable. You can add multiple and additional columns. I am now in Microsoft Teams. I would like to highlight the last thing. So how this experience works, having it embedded as a tab in a team, in a channel team. So I have here resources open. I'm going to add now a new hub as a tab and I'm going to target, of course, lists. This is the one that I need to embed the SharePoint list. The name is not important right now because this will be inherited once I add the existing list. Now I'm going to paste the URL of my SharePoint list. I'm going to click on the arrow to submit the URL. And now what I should see here showing up is the list that we have seen before, the all items view. Here we go. I have now the view visible here in Microsoft Teams. And when I click on an item of the lookup, of course, the panel shows up and this is absolutely cool. I don't need to open a new tab in the browser. I can even edit the list item for this project with all columns directly here, straightforward in this panel. And then I can click on save when I have done. That's it. Very, very cool experience. Without leaving Teams, I can fully work with my SharePoint list. We have seen a very nice list column formatting trick. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please consider to subscribe and like. Add a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other video around Microsoft 365 or Azure. I hope to see you next time.